Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can connect up a third monitor even if your laptop or your desktop only has two outlets. So this particular desktop has a VGA output and a HDMI output. The VGA at the moment currently goes to the monitor in the corner and this white HDMI lead goes to this TV here. But what about if I want to connect up this TV here? Now it is possible if you get yourself one of these. It's a USB to HDMI little adapter. Now the downside of it is it does use USB 3. So if you have a look at your desktop, this one here has two USBs at the top, at the front, and it's got quite a few USBs at the back, but they're all version 2, and it needs to be a version 3. But on this particular desktop, I have got two USB 3s down the bottom here, and you'll find most new equipment will ship with USB 3 ports. So have a look there, and you can see that they're blue. It'll be hard to see, but if you've got the blue connectors, that basically means it's USB 3. So what we have to do is, nice and simple, we just plug this in. This particular adapter here was just under £11 off eBay. And you plug it in to one of your USB ports. And then you plug the other end in to the HDMI to your other monitor or your TV or whatever you're using and then you have to download the drivers. Now it does take a while to download the drivers but what you'll find then is when you plug it in you will then get three screens. So there we go, we've got one screen there one screen there and one screen here. Now, in this video, you will see the third screen flicker on and off quite often. That's because my PC is very weak and also I think it's to do with the size of the TV because when I use this in my proper setup, it does work. So excuse it flickering on and off. If you have a look at my cursor moving around there, when I drag it over, it will then appear on this screen here. Let me minimize this Google screen. There we go, you'll see it better. So it will go from here. And then, once we move it, once we move it from there, if we were to go all the way over, then it will come onto the big screen here. So that's your third monitor. So that's the third one, second one, and then first one here. And if you want to muck around with the display, so for example, at the moment it goes from here to here to there, but you can do it any which way you want. So if you were to just go onto an empty part of the screen and then right click your mouse and then just go down to display settings like so and then it will bring up your monitors here now for example if you were to go to identify which is this button here two one and three it tells you which ones uh, they are and then you can decide what you want to do so for example this is two so this is going to be the first one and that's in place there but let's say now if I want it to put number three in place of number one so I want the mouse to go from this screen here then onto this screen then onto this screen then you can drag number three here and place it to there and then you go down and click apply and then what will happen is your mouse is here it will then go onto the screen here and then as you go over it will then come onto the screen here okay so you're probably wondering why is this useful well it's useful if for example you're working and you want numerous screens open maybe if you're into share dealing for example you could have one share on here then you could have oil on here and you could have the price of gold up here or you could have your screen on here you might be having a Netflix movie on here and then you might want something you know something else your emails or something up here so it's just handy in certain circumstances to have three screens running so Okay, so we're back again. This time, this is the real setup where I normally have it rather than the one in there that I did for the video. For some reason, it kept flashing on and off when it came to that particular TV. But this is the same desktop down here. It's the same adapter that I've got here plugged in. And as you can see, I've got VGA screen. It's working via the USB to HDMI. And then that one up there is the HDMI output from the actual desktop. So for example, these two here can be the work screens and the one up there can be for watching movies and stuff so if I drag Netflix over through this screen here and then drag it across here it will then go to the screen up there on the wall and then I can make that big so I can have Netflix play in there 
And then these two screens here can be the work screen. So if I was to open up another page now, I can drag that across to here, make it big, yeah, and do whatever you normally do. If you wanted this one here to be your main desktop, then you can click on number three here, because if you go to identify, that one says number three. So click on number three here, and then go down, and for example, you can say, make this my main display. And if you were to click on that and go to apply, then what will happen is, if I was then to minimize this one here, you will see that my main display is now on this screen here, yeah? And these ones are, are extensions, so, and there's other things you can do as well. So for example, if I was to go to here, so if I wanted, let's say if I wanted this screen here and the one up on the wall behind me to be a duplicate, so that's gonna be number three and one, what I can do is I can go down here and where it says multiple displays, I can change it to duplicate on one and three. And if I do that and apply, this screen will become my main screen. And then if you have a look, I've got Netflix there and the same Netflix up there. So those two screens are now duplicated. So you can do quite a few different combinations. I hope you found that video useful. It just shows you that even if you just have two outputs on your desktop for under 11 pounds, you can basically connect up other another screen to your display so it's quite helpful hope you found the video useful please subscribe if you want more how-to videos take care bye now